Hi, my name is Brandon. I'm a tech support associate here at Signature Solar. So here at Tech Support, we like to help people solve any issues they have, answer any questions about their systems. Uh, if they need help with any technical answers about their system or their system goes offline for whatever reason, we wanna make sure to get them back up and running as soon as possible. One of the recent issues a customer called in with was uh, he was getting ready to set up his system. He wanted to know if he could set up his solar panels 300 feet from his inverter. Uh, one of the issues with that would be voltage drop and he wanted to know if there was gonna be any issue with that. Uh, well, of course, first we needed to know what voltage he was gonna be putting out and what amperage. So I had, I had him give me what panels he was using and I calculated it out so that I knew what his strings would be, which we recommended nine strings or three strings of nine to keep within specifications of his inverter, which was the 6.5 kilowatt uh, EG4 inverter. And then I calculated it all out. Uh, his voltage drop came out to 2.83, which is within acceptable amounts. Uh, made sure he got all of the information he needed. Made sure he knew that his, cable, his wire gauge should be, I believe it was eight, AWG as a minimum. And uh, yeah, we are trained so that we know how to calculate strings and how to calculate arrays so that we know what customers are gonna be using, if they have any questions on, if they want to expand their solar, what they would need, if they need to you know, have more energy for their system. So yeah, we can calculate all of their uh, strings and arrays. I think the onboarding process has gone very well. Uh, we spend the first week in an actual class environment learning how solar panels work, how to do the calculations, um, common issues with them, uh, how to identify battery problems and how to identify uh, any major issues. And then the how to actually work through them comes in the kind of second half of the onboarding, which is you get with uh, one of the senior, one of your senior tech support, and you sit there for probably a couple weeks going through tickets and watching them make tickets, helping them with um, looking up information. The, the training goes very in depth. And it's very much a, you kind of learn as fast as you can. Hi, my name is Jenna, and I'm a technical support associate for Signature Solar. If they're having any problems with their equipment, um, such as you know fault codes, error codes, uh, issues of any sort really are calling into our department and it's my job to help troubleshoot and figure out those issues and hopefully come up with a solution. A cool situation that I've, uh, I've helped someone through is someone who was completely off grid. Uh, they live upstate, uh, probably dealing with some colder weather, uh, so it's really important to keep the heater going, you know what I mean? So uh, their situation in particular is, again, they're completely off grid. Uh, you know, they don't have access to, you know, utility like a lot of other people in the U.S. So they're completely off grid and they had uh, just batteries, solar, they have a backup generator if need be, but not really trying to, you know, they're trying to cut on costs, not use more, you know, if it was fuel or something along those sorts. So they, uh, they had a backup generator if need be, and it's a new setup. So uh, their batteries had not been deep cycled. They weren't really given that information uh, when they bought the equipment to deep cycle, so their batteries ended up running down, thus their system shut off. So they were pretty much completely without power and one of the inverters wasn't working properly. So when they called in with all these scenarios in that situation of kind of what's going on, just getting all the information I could, uh, came to the conclusion that there was some things that were missed in setup and in commissioning. Um, I gave him all the information necessary on how to move forward on getting his batteries up and running properly, letting him know that deep cycling is really important because those batteries, when they're received, um, they don't know their capacity. Our batteries are known for an 80% depth of discharge, so they're meant to run and charge up to 100% and run down to roughly about 20-25%. And if 
they are ran consistently, let's just say for example from 100 to 50 percent consecutively, they don't know that 80 percent depth of discharge. They don't know that 80 percent capacity. So his not being deep cycled and not knowing that capacity that they can run at, again they ran down, his system shut off because system needs uh, you know, legitimately two forms of power for it to run properly. So. I let him know that information. Um, I got his generator hooked up with his two inverters. He had two 6500s. We got his generator hooked up and wired in. Um, there was some cables that needed to be hooked up between the two inverters uh, that weren't there already. And they need that for communications to be appropriate between the two. And then also his programming on the inverters. He had set up his what he was going to set as his master for his 2P1 on the 6500. The other inverter had still been in SIG, which is to run as just a single unit. So we got that program successfully. So now the two inverters can communicate properly. And then we got his generator hooked up. So now his generator is hooked up and we got it to start charging his batteries. So his batteries are charging. He then only had to wait a little while. His system's up and running again. Hi, my name is Ethan. I'm a tech support associate here at Signature Solar. Here at Signature Solar, where you have a dedicated team of technicians who are happy to help. I can think of a, a couple times, a couple examples. I remember uh, about a week or two ago, I had spoke with a couple who was, uh, they had about five uh, of our 6.5 inverters, um, and they were seeing F90s across the board on all of them. So uh, after speaking with them uh, for a little bit, I ended up getting some photos to take a look over. Uh, we reviewed and uh, we were able to come to the conclusion that uh, there were a couple things that were throwing us off. Uh, one of the main being that the communication cable between the inverters that they were using was a third party cable which was not compatible with our inverters, basically transferring the F90 to uh, the other units. And so we isolated two of the inverters and uh, used one of our cables that we had provided um, and the F90 was gone. So basically we just had to apply the F90 update to the master unit which was affected. So after we isolated the two units um, out of the five, we saw that they no longer had the F90. So we were able to, um, we, had, we can put in a request to have a firmware made here to clear the F90 and we were able to apply that to the master unit uh, basically clearing the issue for them and we were able to change the communication cables. We were able to get them some of ours, which um, had better uh, communication between each inverter. This one was a bit of a, a pretty large scale issue, um, but it took us, I would say, um, maybe about four days or so back and forth with the customer um, to, to resolve it. Uh, they were a bit busy out of town for one day, um, but pretty much we just requested the photos and we were able to take a look at it. Um, you know, anything I couldn't identify, uh, we have plenty of other technicians here happy to help as well, so we were able to get it worked out pretty fast. My name is Caleb Brown. I'm the tech support manager at Signature Solar. One instance of me going above and beyond for a customer, we had a, uh, we had a guy that came through um, tech support and his inverter system was powering medical equipment and it, he relied on it and our process can sometimes take a little longer you know than than necessary for for something as important as that um, and I, I wound up getting in, t in contact with him and actually making sure that this got taken care of as quickly as possible for him um, and and made sure all the way up until that inverter left our facility that you know that it was the ball was rolling the process was going and and that everyone after that understood the importance of how you know how this needed to go and that we couldn't you know couldn't delay at all no we couldn't afford any delays um and i you know like i said i tracked it all the way till the inverter left and you know i took pleasure in sending him that tracking number and letting him know that it's on its way now um and the relief uh, whenever he sent me that email saying that him and his wife would sleep better that night knowing that you know it's not going to cut off on them or something like that. The reward um, for solving a problem like this uh, can't be described really. You know just to take it from step one to the ending uh, and get a great resolution and to just hear the customers say how happy they are to you know have their array running is unexplainable. I get to be very technical. I get to learn all of the nitty gritty information about solar panels and electricity and the batteries. 
My team, not only are they hardworking and dedicated, but most of them are passionate about what they do. They care about our customers. They want to see that issue resolved just as much as the customer does. It is a great feeling getting that customer up and running and having their system go from not producing any power to powering their whole home load. A lot of scenarios that we get um, when people call in is sometimes it's not always just one big issue. Sometimes it's a multitude of small things and in this particular scenario for this customer it was a multitude of small issues that came together that caused one large problem of his power being out and not being able to run his loads and power his house. So for him it was his batteries weren't deep cycled and they ran low and shut off so that was part of his his whole system shutting down and then his other inverter not being programmed properly and the communications cable between the two inverters not being plugged in and being appropriate to allow for communications between the two also. So just a multitude of things put together into one to cause one large problem. That's one thing that I really love about my job is, you know, hopefully always coming to a solution and figuring out the problem for the customer and especially for someone who's completely off grid and being able to get them power or even just full power again because uh, sometimes they're not always completely without but they're going to be without some utilities or some necessities maybe it's uh, not able to power their water pump or something along those lines so they're not having water so just being able to help them uh, always makes me feel good. I always love to help our customers. That's my probably my favorite part of my job. You know, we're happy to help with anything. A lot of the stuff um, uh, is people having, if they're complicated, not so familiar with computers, they're having maybe some issues with a firmware update or battery update. I had just talked to a, a fellow a couple minutes ago. Um, he was having some issues updating his battery, so I was happy to, I remoted in and showed him the process step by step on how to update the batteries. After this, he was able to do it and uh, continue to update his other four batteries by himself. I had a customer, um, he was completely off grid and um, he, he uh, lived alone and he had a breathing machine. Um, so he, in this breathing machine, was powered by his, you know, panels, um, and he was having some issues with his inverter, and so we made sure to get that resolved as soon as possible. We were on it to help this customer because it was, you know, a medical emergency, so we were for sure to get back to him as soon as possible. We got it worked out in a day and a half or so. You know, all of my coworkers and everybody I've met so far has been great to work with. I do feel like we are a, a good team here. I feel like I can ask anybody in this building a question if I have one. Just knowing how much of an impact we can have, honestly, um, and um, just helping people get you know, their needs worked out is great. We have a great staff. Um, a lot of the customers, they're, they're um, you know, great, great to talk to. Um, I think we have a very good local feel, and uh, the best part is just you know, hearing them uh, satisfied with their array at the end of it is, is great. As you can see, our teams are dedicated to making solar attainable through education, solutions, and support. If you want to learn more, subscribe to our channel and join us next time. I'm Kelly with Signature Solar, where we believe solar is for everyone.